recording. This Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine is not 100%. This Let's Play will only sell the required shine strips needed to complete the game. So if you are looking for 100%, you may as well not watch this LP, because it's not happening. Ah, uh, I love sleeping on the beach. It's so relaxing and everything and- Oh, right, we're recording. Um, yo yo YouTubers, welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. Last time we finished up Rico Harbor, and barely got started on Gelato Beach. So without further ado, let's get on with Gelato Beach. Gelato Beach, Episode 2. Mirror Madness. Tilt. Slam. BAM! I didn't ruin your ears. <laughs> alert, alert, just look at the top of the tower. That is one big ugly wiggler. And I thought wigglers were yellow, not green. It must be a tropical wiggler. And I don't know what those things are, but they look a lot like cataquacks. Even though they're not. <laughs> Some weird thing is curled up on a tower to take a nap. This could endanger the legendary sandbird egg. Sandbird? Now I've heard it all. Okay, so this this mission, it's not really one of my favorites, I gotta say. But then again, I don't know if any of the missions out, out here are my favorites. What we gotta do is, well, what am I doing? I'm going the wrong way. What we need to do is to get get those mirrors and take out those cataclysm things, whatever the hell they really are. And what we gotta do is go up a tree, though. So we can get to this one first. Now, the way you beat these guys, it's a little peculiar, but it works. Alright, right over there, that's good. What we gotta do is just squirt them all the way to one end, and ground pound the opposite end. Away he goes. I guess he's a cataclax cousin. Maybe. That's one. I thank you, Flood. Now we do have only two more to go. But first off, we need to get over there, and I've apparently taken the long route. Alright, up there we go. Over there. Now this one's not gonna be fine, because the ones with two and three on them. Three. That's, a, that's when it gets really tricky. Because you gotta squirt both. Four all three at the same time. Ow. I will miss if you don't squirt them, they'll start coming to you. There! There's those two. And there's just one more with those three. And we're all set with this one. Alright. Let's see if we can get over there somehow. One annoying thing about the hover nozzle, it doesn't always work with you. As you've just seen. Sheesh. Am I seriously having that much trouble right now? Uh, okay, I'm not wall jumping there. Apparently that marks us up. Uh, the hell with it. There. No, I'm not gonna make it there, and it would help if the camera would cooperate. Alright, come on, come on. Good. Yeah, I got that with the first with the first one, blood. And they're gone. Didn't give me as much trouble as I thought. Oh well. Mommy, I had a bad dream. I'd say so. You've fallen apart. That was probably a that was probably a bad joke on my part, but then again, I don't care. I thought it was good. What if right, cataclax do not get in my way? Good. And I almost jumped right into it. 
Oh well. We're all done with this mission. Shine! Gelato Beach, Episode 3. Wiggler Ahoy! Full steam ahead! He sure has gotten bigger from before. So we're going right into a boss battle. Here we have, whoa, the big ugly Wiggler. Now this guy, I hate this boss fight. There's one reason. You gotta flip him upside down. Another annoying thing is you gotta have round pound that one certain spot or the KO. Do it three times, then he's down, but after each hit, he gets angrier and moves a little faster. Of course, the spots where you gotta ground pound are random every time. And like I said, he doesn't stay down forever. Now this third one, this third phase, I really don't like this one at all. Because look, he's going really fast, he's really angry, the music is blazing. Ah! And that's another annoying thing. Sometimes he'll actually avoid the thing and run over you. He runs so fast you can never tell where he's going. Ah! Well, that was close. He almost got me, but he missed. Alright, come on, come on. Okay, he's down and he turns into sand, apparently. That's almost as creepy as Petey Piranha's death animation. But yeah, you can see why I don't like that mission. Mama Mia. Enough said. Let's get the hell out of here. Shine! Gelato Beach, Episode 4, The Sandbird is Born. Must be a strong bird. Break through that. No oh, well. So, this one, lots of people, including me, don't really like this one. I can understand why. First, what we gotta do is to go up here. We need to get, we need to get to where that egg is. The easiest way I found is to go this way. Now, Gelato Beach. It may be my least favorite level in the game, but in terms of design, it ain't bad. It's pretty good. It's pretty nice, actually. I wouldn't mind sticking around here if it weren't for those cataclacks and wigglers and all that annoying crap. Anyway, what we need to do is to slide here, jump, whoa, whoa, whoa! Let's get in there, shall we please? And I think this is somewhat a secret level, but at the same time it isn't. Anyway, the Legendary Sandbird. Yep, it's another red coin mission. It makes this a little bit difficult, the Sandbird is constantly moving. And, well, there's wind. So, you will have a hard time collecting these. Now, seven of the eight red coins are here, on the bird. We got six, but where's the last one? In the most obscure spot ever, on its tail. Well, this place is crawling with one-ups and blue coins. I think there's four blue coins to be exact. And wow, I made it through that without unscathed. Okay, now here's a tricky part. Starting to go sideways. What you gotta do is slowly, very slowly, get to his side. Because for a few seconds, he'll go sideways like that. Now, again, with the whole edge detection thing, chances are you will be sliding off a lot against this guy. Alright, we got through that phase. Now, what we gotta do is wait for him to climb all the way up the tower. Because that's what the last red coin is. Hello, seagulls. What are you doing here? Say, how's the weather? Nice and sunny and partly cloudy, huh? huh. Okay, the sandbird's almost at the top. And let's hover away. And that's our eighth red coin, and I'm surprised. I'm really surprised I did that first try as well. 
Am I beginning? Am I getting lucky or what? Oh well, luck or skill, whatever the hell it is, shine on. Gelato Beach, Episode Five. It'll be on Fasimos Sand Sprint. Okay, before we get started, I know I'm probably saying the name wrong. It's probably more like Il Il Piantasimo or something, but. Hopefully for future recordings I won't screw that up, but for now, just bear with me mispronouncing his name. Who's that guy wearing the undergarments with the, with the Pianta costume? That guy's weird looking. <laughs> I am Il Piantasimo, and now we shall race to that flag. Um, I did not accept this race, buddy boy. I seriously did not. I don't want to race, I just want to shine sprite. It is a race to the finish flag, and only one can triumph. By the way, the current record is 35 seconds. Are you at the ready? Then get the then get set and go! Okay, it'll be on Tassimo. You'll be we'll be racing him a few times. Of course, for some reason he moves just like Mario does. I'm guessing he and Shadow Mario share the same model, I guess. And that was easy enough, I would have gotten a second off, but for some reason I've actually touched the damn thing. Oh well, 20-22, that's not bad. So, what would be your fastest time? I am curious. Phew! <laughs> you are pretty good. You have some speed. You have grown ever so slightly in my esteem. Slightly. We will meet again, and goodbye. So he had a shine sprite all along. Dirty thief. Oh well, we got it. Let's get Shine Gelato Beach, Episode 6 Red Coins in the Coral Reef. Oh boy, we haven't seen the last of the red coins, have we? No, we have not. There's still plenty more to do. I've been getting lucky with these cataclacks. That's for sure. Okay, so red coins of the coral reef. It's... It's one of those more annoying missions. You know, because six of the eight red coins, they're here in the coral. Coral reef, or whatever. However, the tricky problem is, two of them are with a school of fish. See, there they are. And the problem is, sometimes they'll actually go in the rock. No, seriously. I mean, they'll actually go in the rock. Like, literally right through it, like walk through a wall sort of thing. Which is kind of cheap in itself. Because you can't go through walls. And something else that can sometimes also go past an invisible wall. Yeah, you know my experience with invisible walls, apparently. Okay, where's the next one? Up oh, there's one. Okay, I'm going up to get some air. Where's the other red coin? Here? Where's the other one? The one with the fish. No, I already got you. Where's... Aha! There you be. Come to Papa. Good. Papa Mario and Mama Luigi. <laughs> Alright, whoa! Cheep cheep! I think those are cheap cheeps. They look like cheap cheeps. How cheap can they be, though? Oh, now the last one. I didn't miss it anywhere. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm running out of air. You don't have to keep flying at me. Maybe I gotta go into the far overhead view or something. Where's that last red coin? Too far away. Can it? I'm sure it's somewhere in here. If I went past it earlier? Hmm. Huh. Oh, red coin, red coin, where art thou? You better show yourself, or you're or you for some punishment, buddy boy. Wait a minute, did I just see it? Or was that a fish? I think maybe that was a fish. It's 
still one cannot be too careful. No, I don't see it. Hmm. This is annoying. I usually never had much trouble with this. At least last time I remember. Where is it? Oh, there it is. I see it. <laughs> yeah. This is why this mission is pretty annoying and tedious or whatever. The red coins really like to hide. Alright, up oh, there you are, my little shiny. Pretty, pretty, shiny, shiny. You ain't a shiny Pokemon, but you'll do. Shine! Gelato Beach, Episode 7. It's Shadow Mario! AFTER HIM! I don't think I could do that voice again if I tried. Now this Shadow Mario mission... It's definitely more annoying because now he uses speedrunning tactics. Alright you, hold still now. Hold still! <sighs> Crying out loud, no spin jump, Mario! Hold still, you little mutant! Wise guy, huh? Well, two can play at this game. Got him! Yeah, this guy really knows how to give me trouble, alright. So, that's it! Gelato Beach clear! SHINE! I don't know what the hell that was, but then again, who gives a damn? Okay, so, we're all set with three worlds now. Gelato Beach, Rico Harbor, and Bianco Hills. So, next time on Super Mario Sunshine, we will be figuring out what is with that weird turtle boat thing, whatever it is. Oh well, we'll figure it out sooner or later. So, until next time, YouTubers, on that note, I take my leave. And I want my coconut. <laughs>